Well, so let's start the next question. Let S be a stack of size n greater than or equal to 1. So there is some stack S. So let's say this is the stack S. And we start with the empty stack. So this is empty out here. Suppose we push the first n natural numbers, okay, in sequence. So the first natural numbers, n natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, up till n. And then we perform n pop operations, okay. So we are pushing these n natural numbers, first n natural numbers, and then we are popping them out because we are performing n pop operations. I assume that push and pop takes x seconds each. Okay, so each push and each pop takes x seconds and y seconds elapse between the end of one such stack operation and the start of the next operation. So, so suppose you push something, so and then you push another thing, so there will be a gap of y seconds between those two or suppose you pushed your last element and then you start popping out okay so between that last push and first pop there will be a gap of y seconds okay and between all the pops also okay any two pops there will be a, a gap of y seconds okay then then there is something called stack life okay for m is greater than or equal to 1 there's something called stack life of m uh, is defined as the time elapsed from the end of push m to the start of the pop operation that removes m from s okay so okay I'll, I'll, I'll explain this thing because if i'll draw something out here it will be easier to understand what's going on so let's first draw what's going on okay so you what you do you push first n natural numbers so suppose i pushed one then i pushed two then i pushed three okay and so on and suppose there is some ith element general ith element i plus one th element okay and so on up till we can say you have pushed you push these n elements okay so you push these first n natural numbers on the stack and then you pop them out okay and then uh, define the stack life of m okay as the time elapse from the end of uh, the push m so suppose i want to define the stack life of this ith element okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to count the time okay to find the stack life count the time from the end of this push operation so so this is the end of push okay so this is the end of push of what i so and then what will happen i plus 1 will come i plus 2 and so on up till n will be pushed and then I'll start popping them out. So n will be popped, and minus one will be popped, and so on. And finally, I'll reach back here. So to the start of the pop operation that removes. Okay. So you have to find the time just before you pop out this i, and that will be when you will come down. Uh, that will be the same time out here. Okay. At the same time, when you will just start, start off pop i so that's the idea of stack life so the time that is elapsed between this end of push i and when you go up and then you remove all these things and come back and just before the start of the pop i okay that's the idea of stack life and then what is asked in this question is what is the average stack life of an element of this stack okay so we have to tell the average stack life so what we will do is we will calculate the stack uh, the stack life of this ith element okay and then we will take an average for i i varies from 1 to n that's to find the average that's all we need to do so the first thing that we need is stack life of this ith element that's what we need right now so so after the end of this push okay what what are you going to do okay you are going to push from i plus 1 to n and then you are going to pop them so how many pushes are there so there will be n minus i pushes okay so because from i plus 1 to n there will be n minus 1 pushes and then you start popping them out so how many pop outs will be there so again n minus i pop out so you you pop them 
all th those you pushed you pop them okay so you pop all of these from n to i plus 1 which is n minus i pops okay so if you if you want to write down the time okay so what will be the time that these guys will spend okay for each push the time spent is how much x for each pop the time spent is x so if you want to write the total time you add these and multiply by x so that will be two times of n minus i x so this much time will be spent pushing and popping but we cannot stop out here because we have this time that is in between these operations these y seconds so how many operations will be there in between so to, to find that let's do this thing so suppose suppose you so this is this is a timeline okay so suppose this is some timeline out here okay and at this point what you did you you pushed i at this point this arrow and then at this point what you did you it, this was the time when you just popped i okay so in between these okay there are all these n minus i pushes and n minus i pops okay so suppose these are all these n minus i pushes and n minus i pops okay so and what is the time elapsed so these are y's in between okay so this is y okay and these are x's this is x and then, then there is again this gap y okay so these y's so you have to add all these y's so if you if you want to add all these y's how many y's do you need okay so this will be equal to how many the how many of these operations you have one two up till this which is two times n minus i plus this extra one okay there's this extra thing is this one more than number of these yellow lines we see out here so so the time that is elapsed in between doing nothing you know the in between those y seconds are actually uh, 2n minus i this is in bracket okay Should write it properly hmm. okay oh no this is bad uh, okay just I'll, I'll write it here okay so this is 2 times of n minus 1 and this plus this extra one out here okay that's what you will have and into this y okay so this is what you're going to get all right it must make sense okay because those many y's you have in between okay and if you add all these what you will get okay and then you will add these both of these times okay so what you will do now is you will add this time and this time so this will give you the stack life of ith element and to do that I'm going to rub everything down but first I should just write these out here so two times of n minus i x plus two times of n minus i y you can you can multiply this y inside and then you can write plus y separate like this okay so that is the stack life okay and then I'm going to rub it all so that I can write further okay this one is I didn't change the background so it got all white so okay we'll have to deal with that mm, okay so this is the stack life okay this is the stack life and then you can take these comments so what you get is actually 2 n minus i uh, x plus y plus y okay this is what you get and so this is the what is this this is the stack life of ith element okay you have to find the average stack life of an element so what do you have to do you have to take an average over this how will you take the average you will sum these up from i is equal to 1 to n and divide by n 
that's how you take an average so you take the summation from i is equal to 1 to n of all of these things n minus i x plus y plus y and this whole thing should be divided by n and if you do this thing so what will you get you'll get this 2 and x plus y can come out of this bracket and like this and then you have to do this summation out here and then you have to do, the, do this summation i is equal to 1 to n n minus i and plus if you do this summation from i is equal to 1 to n for y this, this becomes n y divided by n okay and, and this whole thing is divided by n okay this whole thing is divided by n all right so if you go ahead so you have this thing uh, 2 times x plus y and what would be the sum so the sum is if you keep putting these values of i so you are basically adding n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 3 up till 0 okay so this is the sum of first n minus 1 terms okay so out here what are you doing in, in this thing okay so this is nothing but 1 plus 2 up till n minus 1 out here we are writing it in reverse order okay it starts from n minus 1 and then goes down up till it goes up till 0 actually but 0 doesn't matter if you add so it is the sum of these things and what is the sum of these things the sum of these things is I'm writing in blue out here this will be n into n minus 1 by 2 okay and yeah and then there's this n down here okay and then there is this n from the previous one and if you write plus and this is n y divided by n so n gets cancelled so only y okay so make this separation between what was from the previous one and what is new okay so this is what you get and then what you do is you cancel out this n and this n and this 2 and this 2 they get cancelled out okay and then what you can do is you can open these up so this n will go so I'm writing in magenta now this n will go with this x plus y okay and what will be there minus x and minus y out of which this minus y will get cancelled with this okay and you will be left with minus x okay so that's what you will be left with so this is the average life average stack life of an element on stack and which is option C Okay, yeah.